On the spot news media, we got the latest news. We don't care about the views, we just represent it right. Put local news internationally every night. On the spot, wave that Jamaican flag from left to right. Let's get it right, y'all know the type. We ain't dealing with the hype. We make it take flight. Yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers, what a uh, one, a blessed and wonderful Wednesday morning to each and every person out there tuning into on the spot news media. Now, my peeps, you don't know how we do it over on this side each and every morning. We have to give thanks and praise to the Most High Creator for the preservation of life because life is indeed the greatest. So, in the morning, my peeps, I have a few stories for share with you, the regular members of Chan Public and also members of the diaspora. So, please like the video, share the video, watch the entire vlog. So we can get a full understanding and a better appreciation of everything we are going in a Jamaica. So watch this now, my peeps, over there in the St. Catherine North Police Division. A 48-hour curfew has been imposed in sections of Jones Avenue in the parish of St. Catherine, which is also, of course, a part of the St. Catherine North Police Division. So that is in response to an upsurge of crime and violence in the community. The curfew started at 6 p.m. on Tuesday and will remain in effect until 6 o'clock Thursday evening. The police say that they are seeking to apprehend criminals and seize illegal firearms, ammunition, dangerous drugs and wanted persons. They say that they are also targeting persons of interest whilst seeking to prevent an escalation of crime within that particular community. So basically what cause all of that you know. Two man basically get dirt. <laughs> yeah man may I tell you Tuesday morning in a section of Jones Avenue known as Backlands. The deceased men have since been identified as 21 year old O'Neill Palmer and 60 year old Everton Leroy Banton. So basically a young enough youth and an old man. Boy, me I tell you, the criminal elements, them are deal with the thing. Grimy. The bodies of the two were found in separate locations in the area. Residents stated that sometime around midnight, they heard the condom a beating at the area and went to investigate. The body of the 21-year-old man was found. A Toyota Probox motor car was also seen on fire in the area. The owner of the vehicle, which was reportedly firebombed, stated that he had earlier heard the condom a beat but went to investigate only after hearing his car alarm and the sound of a fire truck in the area. The auto electrician also stated that he his tools of trade were in the motor vehicle which was all destroyed. A few hours later, the police was called back to the community when the body of Mr. Banton was discovered inside his house close to where the car was firebombed. He was found lifeless in his bed after the attackers sprayed can all over his dwelling. A resident of Backlands had this to say, listen. All about 12 o'clock last night, I hear gunshot firing, and about half hour after, I hear the fire truck come, so I come down to investigate because I hear my car alarm go off. And on arrival, big was in flame, lose everything. We need more police present down by the back part, yes, sir. Because at all times, I don't hear something coming like I problem, so for sure, you even walk one if anybody don't hear something problem, then. All of this wouldn't go on. So we need more pre police presence down here, so make we feel more protected. Be a gunshot. I know if I know it's a two innocent residents just gone, so. Big man, hard working mechanic and young youth. Just achieving a life and excel himself. Yeah, man, so I just say that. Peaceful community down a backland here, so. Loving set of people, them all that we are one down here, so. This way happen right now, just shake up with community. Um, honey, you uh, in, in his house. At about 12 o'clock. And when he went in the house, locked the door, he heard knocking on the door. So they were knocking and saying, Police, he must open the door. So he opened the door. When he opened the door, I can just be a gunshot in target. The road there is very thin. No one on the road, by present. No one on the road. The place is thin, 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 thin. Uh, everyone's here now. Police. 
is at the entrance of the highway, right? Not down in the community. They are just at the entrance of the highway right now. So residents of Jones Avenue are indeed fearful at this present moment as the upsurge of crime and violence rocks their community. Now the hierarchy of the St. Catherine North Police Division stated that their resources are stretched thin but indeed they will see what they can do to pump more resources in the Jones Avenue area of the St. Catherine North Police Division. So on Monday now my peeps, a knockings and clappings go on over there in Freetown, Clarendon where this criminal element here presently on your screen who has since been identified as 42 year old andre brown but popularly known in the criminal underworld as short boss he's from a avery housing scheme in old arbor saint catherine yaman yeah, officer yaman yeah, pick and team went in search of this criminal element and he did the unthinkable yeah man he challenged officer yeman pick and of course the officers came out as the victor now the independent commission of investigation has launched a probe into that knockings and clappings so it is reported to on the spot news media that sometime about 2 45 pm police acting on information went to a section of freetown known as river road they were in search of wanted men guns and ammunition so upon the approach of the police in the river road area the police stated that they saw a group of suspicious looking men to include that of 42 year old andre brown aka short boss they were all standing at the back of a container shop the police stated that they approached and shouted police don't move short boss allegedly pop off him chaps and start knock it and clap it in the direction of officer yeman pick and team now in the defense of their life and that of their colleagues the police took evasive action and gunfire was returned in the direction of the man that was firing at them now the police stated that the alleged criminal element fell to the ground clutching a bursa pistol in his right hand now the police also stated that the serial number of that weapon was also erased and upon seizing the weapon from his person the police discovered that it had a magazine containing 3.380 caliber rounds brown short bass was assisted to the maypen hospital where he succumbed to injuries the police later said that they checked their system and the local database also revealed that he was deported from the united kingdom on sunday september 27 in 2008 in relation to narcotics dealings now this criminal element here andre brown but popularly known in the criminal underworld as short bass is a known associate of this criminal element here who is no longer among the land of the living as he was taken out by officer yeman pick and team also a man known as rudolph shaw now short boss was rudolph shaw's top knockies and clappies and also his getaway driver yeah man so now that rudolph shaw is no longer among the land of the living Short bar start par with the man we take over from Rudolph Shaw, a man known as D Man. Now D Man is now the top man, the top head cook and buckle washer for the gang, the head knackis and clappies. So basically, Short Bass they definitely start work for him and take on a whole heap of targeted hitman jobs. So right now the communities of Freetown, Cockpit, Langsville Park and right back to Sandy Bay side right now supposed to get a sigh of relief given the fact that Short Bass has met his demise. Now to all these residents living in all those communities that I just made mention of, please work with the local police and make the police them know what a clock a strike are the only way that it can be resolved and as always, if you do not trust the police, 
link on the spot news media or any like-minded vlogger give us the information and we will most definitely pass it on to the relevant authorities who can make effective change so let me make this abundantly clear to the ones and ones them the fight against crime cannot work without the collaborative efforts of both members of John Public and the security forces. There has to be a combined effort for us to effectively fight against crime and violence, which is definitely affecting all of us. Yeah, man. So anyway, my peeps, a word to the wise is always sufficient. So remember, if you like, share, subscribe to the channel, stay tuned to On The Spot News Media as I continue to bring you fresh news and updates in subsequent newscasts. On The Spot News Media. Yeah, man.